afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome you all uh, to the seminar and hope you all have some great takeaways from it. Uh, one of the most popular takeaways and parts that people take after BTEC, a career which people start working on in their undergraduate years, is entrepreneurship. This seminar aims to introduce students towards understanding and being an entrepreneurship themselves. Entrepreneurship has changed the world in more ways than people can even imagine. A, pe a few of the biggest names of the day, like Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Steve Jobs, and Facebook, and Apple, and Microsoft, all started just as, just as an idea in a brilliant brain which only needed some funds and someone to recognize their talent. The motive of the seminar is to revamp and finally formally establish an e-cell, which will be our own entrepreneurship cell in this triple IT Delhi. Also, we have an incubation center operating here. We basically aim to introduce like-minded people and help entrepreneurships with fundings and other requirements. The seminar is organized by the National Entrepreneurship Network, which is affiliated to Vadhwani Foundation. And I would like to introduce Sanya Singh, the Regional Manager, North India, for the NEL Network. Here I hand over the mic to her. Okay, thank you so much uh, for the introduction. So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, thank you so much for coming. It shows your interest towards entrepreneurship and we look forward to working towards with you all. So let me just start with the quiz. Okay, so how many of you all uh, know about uh, NEN? <coughs> you know? Do you know? Okay, nobody. Vadwani Foundation? Nobody. Okay, so let me just introduce myself first. Uh, I'm Sanya Singh. Okay, I work as a regional manager. North India, I currently take care of Delhi and Jaipur and I'm working with uh, National Entrepreneurship Network. National Entrepreneurship Network uh, is a part of Vadwani Foundation. Okay, we are a non-profit and uh, we are doing it uh, for the right reasons. Our uh, founder is Mr. Umesh Vadwani, who is a serial entrepreneur and his vision is to accelerate India's economy and how are we going to do that is by creating jobs in India. We don't promote students, you know, looking for placements abroad. We want to create jobs in India. So how do we do that is by working along with young minds like you, training them, to, training uh, you to become entrepreneurs. And once you start your own venture and you employ more people, that's how you create more jobs in India, right? So I'm going to talk uh, uh, a little bit more about uh, NEN and Badwani Foundation. So let's talk about the objective of this session is, uh, of course, Okay, so what is entrepreneurship, what's in it for me, the need of entrepreneurship education in today's world and how we can help you. Also, we will be talking about e-cell, okay. E-cell plays a very, very important role in promoting entrepreneurship. It, 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 it not only benefits the institute, it also benefits you in a lot many ways. So, we're going to be discussing that, right. So, uh, before we start, I'm going to play uh, a video created by us. Okay, so that you guys get a little inspired before the session.
Thankfully, these entrepreneurs didn't give up on their passion. They didn't wait for resources to be available or for the situation to be favorable. They just got started. Initially, it may have been a personal goal, but in due time, these entrepreneurs transformed the society around them. So-called challenges or lack of resources are not factors that deter entrepreneurs. All it takes is passion and the ability to think like an entrepreneur and you can change the world. Okay, so how was the video guys? Did you guys pay attention to the video? So what did you learn from the video? I want to make this very interactive, okay? That's the best way of learning. What did you learn from the video? Anyone? What did you learn from this video? No one? Okay. Okay, so I will start. How many of you want to become an entrepreneur here? How many of you think that you have the capability to start your own venture? Very good, very good. So see, the point of this video was to show that it is not a very easy uh, job. You know, it requires a lot of struggle. Lot of struggle, lot of determination, lot of hard work. It is not easy. I don't think I've come across even one startup who has come up to me and said, ma'am, you know, it's been a smooth journey. They all have to wait for hardship in life. But you know, then you learn from your failures. I'll share a story of this uh, student entrepreneur, you know. He was very passionate about becoming an entrepreneur and starting his own uh, venture. So he started a startup, okay. He came up to me and uh, he said, I've started this startup and you know, I need this support and that support. He did that startup and it failed, okay. But he didn't give up. He started another startup. Okay, then again he came up to me, ma'am, I've started this startup, I need some support and uh, this and that. And then again that startup failed, right? The third time when he started the startup, that was a success. So what it means that that failure will happen, hardship will happen, it doesn't mean you give up on your dream, right? And uh, we know you guys are, you know, in college, you have a lot of, uh, you know, academic studies to take care of, but it requires you to take out some extra time and devote towards your dream. You know, your friends might go out at night, you might have to sit at home and work on your idea. So this is the sort of commitment that is required to become an entrepreneur. Right, so I'm just going to uh, show you a couple of our famous uh, NE and e -cell, uh, members who have become successful entrepreneurs now. Do you guys uh, recognize any one of these? You guys do? So all of these uh, guys have been associated with NEN, okay, they were a part of NEN ESEL, which is what we are planning to start here, right. So I'm going to share a very, uh, you know, uh, story which is very close to our heart is of uh, Sashank from Practo, okay. So all of you know what Practo is, right, and it's doing extremely well. Because having a, uh, a business plan, you know, starting a venture is very easy. Uh, making your own business plan is very easy. But 90% of the startups, they fail in the first year because they don't know how to implement the business plan well. Right? So that's where we, where we come into picture. Okay? And we help you plan that business plan effectively. Right? So this is, uh, this is the latest data that we have from Practo. And Practo is now spread globally also as uh, most of you must be aware. It's an app, all of us know. Okay, so Sashank has been recently featured in 30 and the 30 list of young influential people to watch by Forbes by 2015. So how his journey started is very, very interesting. Okay, so when uh, Sashank's journey started, he never thought that he will become an entrepreneur. Okay, he came from a very, you know, uh, middle class family. He always thought, you know, you need a lot of funding to have your own startup. So he never even dared to become an entrepreneur, okay? But how his journey started was that uh, he, we, you know, signed uh, his member institute, uh, which is NIT Sugatkar, okay? They become a member with us, we signed an MOU with uh, them, and we decided to set up an e-cell there, okay? So when we set up an e-cell, 
we are looking for e leaders okay uh, some students who are very proactive you know and they want to do things they want to become leaders right so that's why we have e leaders and an e cell so sushank uh, nominated himself to become an e leader to start the e cell in his campus okay so very soon uh, we started an e cell in the campus uh, the e cell group bigger more member kept joining in and then we do a lot of uh, anian activities we do immense amount of uh, anian activities every month okay so he participated in all those events okay then he also promoted us helped us in going to from his institute he started reaching out to other institutes in the same city right and then he started participating himself and his college in the international events as well okay by the time uh, you know he was uh, experience participating in all these events he realized that you know i have grown so much and i have so much of knowledge and skill now that i think i can have my own startup and that's how he started with tracto and he came to us and we connected him to an investor and that's how we launched his uh, venture which is doing very very good right now so right so the point i'm trying to make is that uh, if shashank can do it any one of you can also do it and that's what we believe in our goal is to make as many entrepreneurs from triple it that we can right so this is a small video which i will not be playing where he talks about entrepreneurship that how entrepreneurship is like an addiction okay so how any and can help you so just to give you a little background i have already given you we started in 2003 okay we are a part of advani foundation we have other initiatives as well so we have uh, skill development network opportunity network for disabled research and policy any and is our uh, any and is a flagship initiative so uh, since 2003 we have a uh, network bit more than we have a uh, network with more than 500 plus institutes across india okay all the we, we are working very closely with this these uh, 600 plus institutes also we have expanded globally also so most of the region we are already present and we wish to grow further and we have a uh, 4000 mentors available with us 3200 trained faculty who teach entrepreneurship uh, 2000 new startup this year Okay, fifty thousand indirect jobs. By indirect jobs, I mean once you start your venture, you employ more people. So that's indirect jobs for us. Okay, so, uh, we have this is an old data. We have about nine lakh students who engage with us yearly. So we do this big uh, event called E Week. Do you guys know about E Week? Great. So you have to participate this year as a debut. Okay, we have a award called Debut Award. So you can participate in that. We do this. Uh, Big event, uh, okay? It's a a, a week long event where all the institutes of any and they celebrate entrepreneurship and there are different categories that you compete for, okay? And it's held at the national level. So you're competing not only with Delhi, you're competing with Bombay, you're competing with Bangalore. So we're present all over, right? So that's how it works. Okay, so what is the offering that we do? So the offering that we have, we have tried to cover everything. Okay, so as you can see, we have knowledge, networking, brand value, placement, and resources. By knowledge, we mean. So what we are trying to do is that we have launched an app. Okay, this app is called LearnWise. Okay, so all of you must download this app. So in this app, you have all the content available. Okay, by knowledge. means learn wise so it is a very structured process it starts from the very basic level for example someone who is very new to entrepreneurship right so you will be doing activities related to that okay you will be learning about that once you uh, so this orientation there is a six uh, step process okay so we hand hold you from the beginning till the time you become an entrepreneur okay so that's the journey that we follow so everything is available on learn wise so this is the uh, curriculum bit of it the videos and activities that you will be doing it's available on our website online only if you are a member institute and only if your faculty approves can you access the data because we don't want it to be facilitated to students who are not interested in it right apart from that we have practicum activities now practicum is very very interesting so once you form an easel then what do you do right so that's where we come into picture we uh, we share with you thousand of activities which we call practicum Okay, once you start an ESL, you're supposed to do our practicum activities in your campus. This helps you drive entrepreneurship uh, in in your campus and also enhance your ESL as a brand. Okay, so these are the two things that we are focusing on to uh, help you teach entrepreneurship. Okay, practice entrepreneurship. We don't teach entrepreneurship. Networking. Uh, so we are 
very very good with networking okay so we like i said we have network of 600 plus institutes so for example uh, you guys decide to do some event okay later on and then you want ma'am we want participation and we plan to do it pan india so uh, can you help us with the participation so like me there are other regional managers in different cities as well so you reach out to me i reach out to them and they reach out to other institutes and then the other institutes also participate in that apart from that we are very very active on facebook and other social media as well so for example iit delhi is doing e summit right now uh, nsit is also doing e summit right now so they reach out to us to give them some promotion it helps them give them lot of uh, you know eyes lot of eyes so you get really noticed within the city and across if you would like right so you should uh, we are here to help you so please utilize us as much as you can and if you have any questions please write it down okay so that comes about networking also you know uh, so recently i did this e leaders workshop where uh, we had called the two e leaders from every institute across delhi and where we trained them on how to uh, you know run entrepreneurship on campus and what is it supposed to do in the campus and not only that and we worked on their leadership skills also we trained them okay so e leader workshop is something we did so what happens there is ki baki institute se bhi e leaders aate hain right so they interact with each other and the somehow sometimes what happens is that bim tech and you know iit or something they decide to do an event together so it's always good to network it's always good to learn from each other institutes you'll be uh, surprised to know you know how much you can learn from each other we are still learning we will be learning from you as well right so networking is very very important so i think you guys should be very very open to that try to network as much as you can brand value as i said our facebook marketing team is very very active so once you launch the e sell we will uh, you know brand it in a big way right then placement so uh, see we at badwani foundation we always want to measure our uh, outcome okay how far have we come we don't do a workshop just for the heck of it okay we want the results by the end of it so we uh, did a research to understand uh, you know how much impact are we making so uh, what we did different uh, this year is that we started tracking salaries of the esl members okay and the results what came out was that the students who went who were part of any and e cell and who participated in any and activities got placed with much higher package than any other normal student okay why because of course you know once you start your e cell there's a lot of things involved in it campus company you're your own hr you're your own marketing you're your own finance right so you know how the entire company works plus you you know instill a lot of confidence there's a lot of skills that you develop right a lot of learning there so that's why when you go for the placement you are ready and that's what the employer is looking for so even if you know you think that you know entrepreneurship is not my cup of tea you can still be a part of any and activities to enhance your brand right so these are the uh, offerings that uh, we have so i'm going to just i'm just going to cut short this this is uh, our vadwani way learning approach so you enroll yourself on learnwise you go through the content and you practice that in your campus in the e cell and then you start your company and you grow through any and org so we have a big list of mentors available big list of angel investors and vcs available of course there is a certain criteria that you need to fulfill to be uh, to get access to them so this is our app guys all of you must download it it's called learnwise okay it's available on android right now and uh, web version is available in case uh, you have an ios okay only if you register on this you will get an institute code which your faculty will share with you then only you can access all the data and there's huge amount of data in it okay so like i said this is uh, you know the step by step process this is the road map that we have made for you all okay we start with the orientation then we go to the discovery practice and startup okay so this is the four steps that we'll be focusing on fourth and fifth is for very advanced stage of startup who are doing very very well and let's say they want to expand to a different uh, region altogether right so this is what we'll be working on so we are at the orientation phase right now so there is also a certificate uh, that uh, you all can avail from us if you register for the for our content online and only if the faculty approves yes please yeah. So I have always thought these things like uh, managing things and you know being in like knowing what everything in the company is being done. So I always thought this knowledge is supposed to be like uh, from MBA, it comes from MBA. So what's the difference between? Absolutely not. Yeah. See MBA, what knowledge you get is very theoretical. 
right? And our main focus, we are an expert at it. Our main focus is to help you understand how company works. Do you guys know about campus company? Okay. So campus company is a very, very interesting thing. What happens in a campus company is that you start a company within your campus. Okay. For example, uh, there are so many students here. Stationery ki zarbat to padti hogi. Right? So instead of going uh, to a stationery shop, why don't you start your own stationery shop here? Okay, I know many institutes who are doing it. So what they do is they go to Chandni Chowk, they get those notebooks and all. Upar wo page laga ke print kara ke apna achare Narendra Dev or whichever college, you know, triple ITD. Print kara ke, they started selling their own notebooks. Okay, so of course there's a team there. That's how you form a team and then it becomes self-sustaining. So what happens is that sometimes ye campus company bache bootstrap karke karte hain, khud ke paise laga ke. Ya fir faculties are very, very supportive. They reach out to the management, the management gives them cash. And then they, when they start earning back, they return the money to the management. So like this, you, there's a juice uh, shop, you know, there are many, many things like that. Uh, agar hostel hai, toh hostel delivery, you know. So there are many ideas that you, you guys can think of. Institute ke andar hi, there are a lot of requirements. So you need to find a requirement and then start your own startup. So see, because I am so involved with uh, NEN, so I get to attend a lot of workshops, okay. So what? I have learned, which I would like to share with you all, is that whenever you guys think of a startup, keep two things in mind, okay? First, it should solve a problem. B, it should make an impact on the society, right? That's uh, kind of a fail-proof uh, idea for a startup. Okay, so what is an e-cell? How many of you all know what is an e-cell? Any idea? Nobody knows what's an e-cell. Not even a clue. Okay. So let me just play a small video again uh, about ESET. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Sure. And we see that the shop keepers, we consider them as businessmen. Alright. Hmm. So what exactly is the difference between a businessman and an entrepreneur? See, a uh, businessman is a traditional businessman. Okay. And there's a huge difference between a business businessman and entrepreneur. Because when you're an entrepreneur, you know, you start from the very beginning. There's a lot of, uh, the, methodology, uh, the methodology is very different. Okay, your approach towards it is very different. The shopkeeper, hai, they're just doing it. Okay, they've just started it and they're just doing it. They've not put any research to it. They've not done any attention to detail to it. Right? If you hear so many people, they say, you know, ki start kar dete hai business, you know. So, when you're an entrepreneur, you know, you have a vision. You're a risk taker. You know your 10 year plan. You just, you just don't start it off because you have to start it off. You have to have a 10 year plan. You have to know what is going to happen after 10 years. You can't come with a plan saying, Achha, abhi six months survive kar lenge. You know, and plus you work on your business plan, your business model. There's so many things that is involved. So that's how you distinguish an uh, entrepreneur and a shopkeeper. Right?
are the organizations or the bodies that may help you a lot in understanding or in finding the right path to achieve your goals. Entrepreneurship itself, in my case, has helped me a lot in understanding the target market, in understanding my competitors, in understanding the key metrics that I need to look into for having competitive edge over others. To think that he was in the same place as us some years ago, that's what the Urdhwani said does to you. It transforms students into people who make an impact, who contribute, who make a difference. I hope that happens to me too. There are so many people you meet, people who have dared to take a different route and come up with something really new. Once you really go there, you get a lot of opportunity to speak to people, interact with people. And what the insult did at the crux was that it gave all of us that courage saying, you know, you can go out there and do anything. Uh, we did some really, really big events and I think one of the most important learnings that I took away from the ESL uh, was to look at adversities as opportunities. If I'm able to speak right now like this with a little more bit of confidence, it's only because I've taken part, active participation in my ESL activities where I used to, you know, conduct events around here and there, make things happen, organize activities and all of these things that really boosted my skill of running a venture. All of us are eligible to join the ESL. In fact, any student is eligible. Even if you just want to learn some cool skills that will help you in today's world and during placements, you should join the Badwani ESL in your institute. You can even become an eager, while ESL members participate in different events organized by the ESL and e leader manages and organizes these events. There could be about 100 plus participating members at a time. My journey with NEN started as a normal member. I grew as a core member of the ESL. I became the e leader of the ESL. It created a community of mentors. Uh, so what I did was during these uh, evening events and during these various events that we had in college via our uh, entrepreneurship cell, uh, we got in touch with a lot of entrepreneurs out in the market. So what this created was this created a bond between the students and the entrepreneurs. We started with a lot of activities in college like the business plan competition, the 50 rupee note activity. The, we got a lot of entrepreneurs on campus who spoke about entrepreneurship who gave us the real insight of what the startup world is all about. Basically, the role of an e-leader is to organize events, to run the e-cell and encourage students to participate. There are usually about 7 to 20 e-leaders in the e-cell. It depends on the size of the institute and the number of e-cell members. Overall, e-leaders make entrepreneurship an important activity in campus. The ESA experience is real fun because of various activities such as movie screenings, meeting real entrepreneurs, panel discussions, competitions, and so much more like startup jobs fair, workshops, internships, running campus interviews. The list goes on. ESELs participate in national events organized by Badwani Foundation, National Entrepreneurship Network, such as the E Week, the Smart E Challenge, and the Badwani ESEL Challenge. At first, I didn't know the benefits of joining the ESEL, but then I heard from my seniors that ESEL members get amazing opportunities after college as well. The whole experience is amazing. You get to learn things here that you can never learn in class. How to work with people, how to lead teams, how to form connections, how to present. I can go on and on and on. You enter as a student and leave with confidence. A big set of friends. You get to experience and practice entrepreneurship, which is so good. Don't wait anymore. This is your moment. Seize it. Make us a party itself. So how was the video guys? Are you guys motivated to start an ESL now? Are you who all who all wants to be a part of ESL? Very good. See, it always starts with a very small number. Okay, I know of institute where it starts with only one student who wants to drive entrepreneurship. You know, but you have to be that change maker. Once you start it, people will follow you. Like, right? People always follow leaders.
So you guys have little clarity about E-cell now? So E-cell is uh, a club where basically where you practice uh, entrepreneurship, right? This is a cell devoted towards entrepreneurship. What E-cell does is they identify students who are who want to become entrepreneurs okay and they create an entrepreneurship ecosystem in the campus itself so that entrepreneur gets the entire support within the e-cell and of course we help them create their campus uh, entrepreneur ecosystem okay so what are the objectives of e-cell create entrepreneurs by exposing uh, exposing students to entrepreneurship see what am i doing here i'm trying to you know uh, promote entrepreneurship. I'm trying to make you aware about entrepreneurship, right? So your next step would be to create that awareness amongst IIIT students to promote entrepreneurship. Get more students interested in entrepreneurship, right? That's how a club is formed. So what you can do is probably roll out like a Google form or a mail or, or something. Someone has to take the lead. Someone has to be an e-leader. Someone has to take the lead and shoot out the mail and wait for interested students to reply uh, on the Google form, WhatsApp, whichever medium that you want to use, right? And then you sit together and form an e-cell, right? Help student acquire necessary knowledge, skills, skills and network to be highly successful in their career. So as a part of your e-cell, you will also be organ organizing a lot of events. That is important to do skill developments of students as well, right? So you will be getting in touch with some uh, corporate people, some industrialists, some mentors, right? Depending on your uh, student, uh, if, if a student already has an idea, right? So you want to help that student. So you will try to understand what stage that student is at, what support does he require, you come to me, I will connect you to the right person and we can do a workshop here. For example, if you are in uh, IIIT, we should start off with the uh, success stories. Okay, by success stories I mean look out for your triple uh, IT successful alumni entrepreneurs, reach out to them and they will be very very happy to come here, talk about their venture and to motivate you all, right? And not just triple IT, I know a lot of uh, successful entrepreneurs who are at the age of 23 and doing phenomenally well, okay? And you have to see their uh, uh, story to believe it. So reach out to me, organize an event, I will call these entrepreneurs, all you need to do is pull in students for that, right? And then entrepreneur leaders, of course. Once you're part of an e-cell, you become a leader. So what skills can you acquire from an e-cell? Creative thinking, because that's the only place, uh, you know, you can put on your thinking cap and think out of the box, right? So, uh, you know, once you're a part of e-cell, you know, and you're a part of those activities, you realize that the talents that you have that you thought you never had. Right? Once you get involved in these activities, you are forced to work on that and then you realize, you know, maybe I can do this. I didn't know I had that talent, okay? So there's this exercise called uh, Rupees 50 exercise, okay, which we do in the e-cell. So what happens in this is that every student is given Rupees 50, okay? And within uh, two hours, he has to double that money, right? So what are the ways that you can think of, you know, generating revenue from that money? So this one uh, interesting story I heard is that this uh, girl from Indore, she bought few newspapers and she made bags out of newspapers and she sold one bag for 200, she earned about 2000 bucks from that 50 rupees. You know, it's all about innovating, it's all about being creative, right? So these are the exercises that makes you stimulate the creative side of you, right? Also team building. So. Uh, once you start your e-cell, so e-cell has different departments, okay? So you learn how to interact with your uh, team members, right? There are a lot of small, small issues also that happens. So a good leader knows how to manage the team well, right? So these are the learnings that you gain uh, as a part of uh, being a part of an e-cell. And of course, uh, confidence. So there was this uh, female Swati Bhundia. I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, paid attention to her. So when she started, she couldn't even talk. Okay, her confidence was so low, she couldn't even talk, she couldn't even utter a word in English. Okay, when she became a part of E-cell, she slowly, you know, started overcoming her uh, drawbacks and then she merged as a very confident person. Right, so nothing is impossible and that is what we believe in and we think everybody can become an entrepreneur. All it requires is a ded dedication and passion towards it. Right, and networking, uh, of course, once you're a part of E-cell, so I have a group called NE and E-leaders. Okay, where I have these uh, e-leaders from different institutes, so we interact with each other, they discuss ideas if they're working on some plan, so 
they gain information from each other and then they schedule the event. Once an e-cell is formally launched here, I will have those two leaders in that group as well. Okay, so uh, how do you initiate an yes, please. Correct. So how can we learn those skills? Because I, I See, risk-taking, you can't learn from uh, uh, anyone. That, that has to come from within. Okay. Once you're a part of e-cell, once you're working on an idea, you will yourself know, you know, when you have the capability to take the risk. Because starting a venture takes risk. Okay. It is not a very easy task. It requires taking risk. Right. So once you start working on an idea, then only you will come to a level that you say, yeah, you know, I'm now ready to take that risk. And also, if you saw in the video, it said that he, no one waited for the right time. Right. No one waited for the resources to be available or the situation to be favorable. When you want to start, you start. You reach out to people, you reach out to us. You know, these days you have so many people, it's such a platform to help you all so much. There were days when, you know, when we started, people didn't even know the word entrepreneurship. Right, so I mean, we have come so far, and the government is, uh, you know, so much involved in entrepreneurship. We have in fact signed a government with, uh, signed a project with government called PM Yuva. Okay, where we will be working with 3,000 impactful institutes. We will be training these institutes to create more entrepreneurs. You know, because the idea is to create more jobs in India, and we, you reach out to us. We are there to support you. Right. So risk taking will come with time. Don't worry about that. Okay. So how do you identify and uh, how did how do you initiate an e cell? First step is we have to find an e-leader. Okay, there has to be one person who will take that initiative. That you know, I'm going to be the one who's going to start e-cell in my campus, right? There can be two also. There can be three also, right? But you have to be the one to initiate the e-cell. You know, like I mentioned, I know of cases where one student himself started the e-cell, and slowly, slowly, you know, with the faculty support and everybody, students started enrolling for that. Okay, and then as an ESA leader, there's a lot of learning. So now what happens is, you know, I interact with so many ESA. So IIT Delhi ESA president Abhijit, he has learned so much. Now if I do any EV khora hai ya kuch bhi kisi campus mein kuch ho raha hai, they invite him. You know, if they're starting an ESA, they invite him. Why did you come? You know, great and teach our students how you can take ESA to the next level. So there's a lot of learning that you get. He gets invited to these big events. You know, because he is involved in that. So that is required. So yes, the first step here is uh, I want two e-leaders from here. Okay, so you guys, if you guys can't just sit together, decide who wants to start the e-cell and come up to me and then I will tell you what is the next forward. <coughs> forward okay? you pay, uh, we need two e-leaders, then we start spreading the awareness of entrepreneurship. And this, you have to understand, you have to have a passion towards entrepreneurship. And once you get involved, in entrepreneurship, I'm telling you, once you decide to uh, start your own startup, you will end up starting your own startup. So there have been cases where students have passed away from they are nicely working in a good corporate house, working, getting good salary. They quit their job and they've started their own venture. Because they say, when I can do this for myself, I have so much of knowledge and capability to do it, then why should I work for someone else? Right? It's all always, you know, it's just the vision and the thinking that makes a change. Okay, so the idea is to identify two e-leaders and spread an awareness to start the e-cell. Okay, so there are two set of models in an e-cell. Okay, so there is one uh, traditional model and one functional model. Traditional uh, model is the same model, you know, that hierarchy one, one uh, top president, vice president, uski niche log. And functional is ki har ek uh, department ka ek head, marketing ka ek head, HR ka ek head. There is no leader in that. Okay. But uh, we have done a research from across <coughs> uh, 700 e-cells and we have come up with our own structure. The structure that we promote is the first one, traditional one, okay, like a VP, uh, uh, senior VP and then some <laughs> department. So I will come to that later. So once you start an e-cell, you need to have a stakeholder group, okay. Now stakeholder group mein hoge, admin group, which mein our e-leaders aage or core team members aage, okay. You identify that. Uh, then you start with mentors and advisors, really important. Okay, you need mentors and advisors. You need uh, continuous guidance from them. Whatever you uh, start your own e cell calendar. Okay, you think of a nice name, you do a Facebook launch, you do your website launch, and then you need support from the mentors and advisors for that. So, what we can do is that we have our own set of uh, pool of mentors and advisors. So, depending on your requirement, we will pull in there. You can always have, you know, Heman sir is there, Heman sir can be your advisor, 
you know, uh, Alok sir can be your advisor, can, can be your mentor. Right? So you have to have all these people in your stakeholder group. Okay, so that you discuss about your e plans and everything with them to take things forward. Very, very important. If you want us to help you out, reach out to us, we'll be more than ever to have to. Also, in the, uh, okay, I'll come to that later, later. So functional leaders I've already explained. This would be, once you form a team of e then you see, acha who's good in what? You know, I'm good with marketing, I'm good with HR. So you identify those people, you will make them the heads. So this is the recommended organization structure, okay, which I will share with you all. So you have to have a CEO who would be the e-leader, okay, who will be the president. So basically president and vice president are the e-leaders, okay. So you can have CEO and head operation can be the other e-leader, okay. So then you have finance, HR, media and marketing, program and events, impact and reporting. These are the important departments that you have to have. Why we have come up with this structure this year is that generally, you know, starting an e-cell is very important, but sustaining an e-cell is very, very difficult. So if you have these core members, 10 to 15 core members in your e-cell, you will do a smooth job of starting an e-cell. Okay, and uh, so we come here to the board of directors, right? So every e-cell should have an advisory board, very, very important, right? So in board of uh, director, you can have some alumni entrepreneur, reach out to your triple IT alumni entrepreneur or you can have some other entrepreneur also you can reach out to me I can connect you to them they will be very more than happy to be in your board of director okay industry mentor and expert right uh, we have Heman sir who's been associated with Indians in such a long time so he'll be able to give some good guidance to you all right you should have them uh, some investors I would suggest that se try and reach out and build your own board of director if you are not able to do it then reach out to me because the whole fun of finding, you know, the right person is something else. There's a lot of learning also involved with that, right? Then faculty mentor, of course, Alok sir is there. Any in regional manager, I will be there. Okay. So anything, give me a call. I will help you with the planning and everything. And e CEO. Okay. So e CEO again will be the e-leader, whoever is appointed. So idea behind this uh, board of directors is to have an annual meeting to understand how far has the e come. And what is it that we need to do to take it to the next step forward? You guys being student might not have that kind of, uh, you know, uh, feedback to give as, you know, your faculty or advisors or mentors and everybody, right? So that's how the uh, proper, all, uh, your all structure should be, right? So I will, you guys reach out to Alok sir, let me know, I will share these, these details with you and you start your reset. Okay, so I have already spoken a lot about, uh, you know, the CEO of ESEL. He should have the responsibility to initiate the e-cell, set up the e-cell organization structure, lead the e-cell, evangelize entrepreneurship, promote entrepreneurship, strengthen the operation of e-cell, build right culture and environment, very, very important. You know, he should have that quality to bring in the right set of people be to be able to guide them in the right way, right? And take the course correction when required because there are sometimes a lot of conflicts between students in between e-cells, right? So he must have that uh, quality. So generally we ask the faculty to recommend the e-leaders after this session maybe you know few students go back to the faculty and say you know sir I want to start an e I want to become an e-leader and then we formalize it and when we launch it we launch it in a big way okay we do a proper event we call some people and we launch it in a big way so think of a good uh, e-cell name also for triple IT right so again uh, this is going into detail once you form your e these are your responsibilities so once you identify those people, let me know, I will share these details with you. Okay, I've already discussed this. So this is a typical uh, journey that we say with uh, Vadwani Foundation. Okay, you enroll yourself through LearnWise platform. You enroll to the course and the batch of the online uh, content that is available to you. The institute course is available uh, with Alok sir, you can take it from it. Uh, so then you do these classroom video lectures. It is very self-explanatory our content, okay? We didn't want to go with theory at all, okay? Our content team has worked very hard. We wanted to do something which will keep the students engaged. So it's all video and activity based, okay? So all of you get together. You can also have it as a part of your uh, e -cell. You know, run this, these classes as a part of your e so You can do that also. Then we have some interesting uh, quiz and discussion group. Then uh, we have some uh, activities, assignments. And then at the end we assess uh, whoever has enrolled for our online course, we assess and we give the certificate, right? So 
apart from that, uh, these are the other events uh, that we keep doing. We are very active in this. So we have Smarty. So Smarty Challenge we recently kiya tha, in which uh, what we did was, this was Pan India. So any, every institute, any member institute ko, uh, could apply for it. And there was good amount of cash prizes given to three uh, best uh, uh, videos. So the theme was to uh, light camera entrepreneur. Okay. So you have to make a team of three or four maximum and shoot a video of an entrepreneur. Preferably, if you have any entrepreneur, otherwise you can catch hold of any entrepreneur and shoot a video. There were certain guidelines that were shared. So whoever you know uh, came across the guideline was given the award. And one was like most popular video. So YouTube mein jisko sabse the likes mile, unko award de do. So there was a lot of competition regarding that. You know, everybody like watching kisko kitne zada likes mile. There's a lot of sense of competition in this smarty. Smarty is there, then workshop. So see, basically, abhi maine recently kya tha e-leader workshop jo maine aapko pataya. That is the first workshop that we do to train the e-leaders to send them back to the institute to start the uh, e-cell on campus. And they also work on the caption plan on which they report back to us. So you start an e-cell, you set up your e-cell structure, you have your e-cell calendar. Okay. This e-cell calendar you have to share with me. Okay. Based on the practicum, now e-cell calendar mein ho sakta hai success stories, uh, some panel discussions, some workshops, anything. Okay. So when your e-cell form ho jayega, then you need to identify a student uh, hai jo startup mein interested in. And what is requirement? Kya hai. So based on their requirement, we can do a workshop here. Okay, so it starts with e-leader workshop. Then we do an ideation workshop. Ideation workshop is for students who are new to entrepreneurship. So we call in experts and we make you work on an idea. You are forced to work on an idea. Okay, because till the time you don't do it, you don't know if you, you know you maybe you can become an entrepreneur. So that is there. Then we do a bootcamp workshop where these students, after going to the ideation workshop, decide to start their own startup. Then we do a bootcamp session in which we tell them how to work on their business plan and business model. Once they've done that, we teach them how to pitch to an investor. Okay. So all these are practical workshops that we do in the city itself. Different uh, institutes and different bachche depending on the audience category. So this is how it was. So similarly, you guys can also do such activities. Right, initiate it, do something interesting, right? So e week I already have covered webinar hote hai, for example, you have e cell form kar liya aur aapke kuch, uh, startups hai, aur aapko lagta hai ki, you know, ki kisi ko team building pe kuch, uh, ya government ki kitni sari policies aayi hai startup ke liye, hume pata nahi iske baare mein. can you organize a webinar for us? Okay? Then we call in some experts who do the webinar for two hours. You can like this connect uh, to the live session. The expert will tell you everything about the government policy that is, you know, promoting entrepreneurship funds and everything. And then you later on ask questions to them. See, so uh, these are the things uh, that we do. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. But uh, uh, how, how many students will be uh, participating in the ESL? Good. Very good, very good. That's a good amount, good, good number of students actually, I'm telling you. Very nice and very soon you know it's like a it's like a revolution. So once you start it, you guys will be the one who started it and you have to take it to the next level. You guys have a lot of time to do that, right? And of course participate in our e-week debut award, right? Any questions guys, I think I'm done here uh, with this. Any questions if you guys have, please shoot. Anybody working on a startup here right now? No? Start thinking on those lines now. You know, you have so much of resource available. Triple IT has an incubation center now. Imagine that's such a you know achievement because I work with so many institutes and there are so many student startups. Okay, and they're like, ma'am, no incubation center, no any. You bolo na institute mein incubation center ke liye. And you guys have it ready. You know, utilize that once you. Once you have your own startup, you realize the importance of an incubation center. You know? And probably once you start an e-cell, you can work along with uh, Alok sir to get more startups enrolled in your incubation center. Maybe you can cater to more student startups as well. Right? So take uh, advantage of these things, guys. These things are very readily available to you on the page. So realize its importance and uh, try to utilize it as much as you can. I will share my number with you all. Okay, 
So you can reach out to me. You want to start an e-cell, whatever you want uh, information regarding entrepreneurship to reach out to me. Okay. Okay. So I think we're done here. Thank you so much, guys, and I wish you all the best. And the next news I want to hear is of a good name of an e-cell. Okay. All the best. Um, thank you everyone for your attention and your precious time. I would request you to proceed for the refreshments in the classroom area. Thank you.